Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I wanted to explain how it is that liberals are uh, completely wrong about this so-called green energy, how it will benefit us. I'm going to explain this by talking about coal for a little bit. Now, we have what's known as clean coal technology today, and as a result of having clean coal technology, we, uh, we're in much better shape than we used to be as far as being able to use coal for fuel. But the greenies are saying, nope, nope, we gotta get rid of coal and oil and all that. Well, I'm gonna address coal in this video because... There's some misconceptions that the Greenies haven't told you. It's actually intuitively obvious to anybody with a brain, but... Uh, that leaves liberalism out. Okay. So. And we'll go through a uh, collage of photos here while I'm talking. Okay. So... What is it, why is coal better for us than these uh, greeny technologies? I mean, after all, don't greeny technologies, when they bring in jobs, well, not very many. But there's more to this than what meets the eye. The greenies will never explain it to you, uh, per se. You see... When coal mine does more than support grubby-faced miners, when Hologram Hillary uh, told the miners they were going to put, she was going to put them out of business, she was actually saying she's going to put a lot of people out of business. Now, why is that? Well, let's think this through. First of all, you have the miners, and... They work hard all week, go down the watering hole, have some brewskis or whatever, and then they go to the local restaurant, just trying to get the picture. See, whole towns uh, depend on the coal mines being there, but there's more to it even than that. See, your average restaurant, the supermarket, uh, hardware store, gin joint, and so on down the line. They all depend on the paychecks of these miners. It's not like it used to be where the coal mine, uh, coal mines built the towns and then the miners were trapped in kind of a type of, uh, slavery. These are some old antique photos. But the point here is, uh, these towns all depend on miners, but there's more to it than that. Now your train comes through to uh, get loads of coal. You can see the train in the lower right. They come through the town, they pick that up, and they take coal away. Where do they take it? They take it away to power plants. It's no good to them if they don't. Power plants or whatever to be resold. So the coal goes to the power plant, and power plant provides power. Well, there are whole, whole uh, colonies of people, towns, cities that depend on power plants too. Why? Well, it's obvious. You know that's where the wealth is. The coal keeps power plant running, provides electricity, and it also provides jobs. A lot of jobs. And don't think that when Hologram Hillary said she's going to take away coal miners' jobs, that uh, people didn't know what was going on. I'm assuming, you know, your average cafeteria owner in one of these uh, coal mine towns 
he knows that his livelihood uh, depends on the coal miners. And how Graham Hillary said she was going to retrain the workers. That's not going to work. You're not going to retrain them that way. Well, anyway, so, uh, the coal goes to the power plants, power plants employ people, they work, they in turn employ other people. Are you getting a message yet? Now, what happens with a windmill? It sits there and spins in the wind. Needs very little in the way of people to do anything for it. And while they do produce power, unreliably, of course, uh, the windmills aren't the best. Uh, they don't produce the wealth that the coal mines do. And hologram Hillary promised to put the coal miners out of business and then retrain them. Yeah, retrain them for what? Here's the thing. Uh, they had families, they have wives and kids to support and so forth. Most of them probably. And they couldn't afford to take years off. They couldn't afford to take a month off probably just to get retrained for non-existent jobs that weren't there. And the other thing is the rail, uh, rail lines also provide jobs, and of course those jobs, many jobs will be lost there, transporting the coal if there's no coal to transport. This is what Obama's been doing, he's been shutting down the coal mines, and that's what Hologram Hillary promised to do. Donald Trump is promising to do that exact opposite, to support coal miners. It's not like it used to be. They make some good money nowadays. Well, the point here, my point I'm making here is if these greenies got their way in, uh, shut everything down, shut the coal down, shut the oil down, all those jobs are going to disappear and there's not going to be anything to replace them. I mean, you don't need a tenth of the workers to tend to windmills and solar panels. They just sit there. And then it just, it just naturally spreads. That's the way wealth works. Coal miners dig the uh, coal out of the ground, and it gets sold. They have to have restaurants and grocery stores and what have you to uh, support their families and houses. All that would be gone if Hologram Hillary had gotten her way. All of it. You close down the mines, you're stripping this country of wealth. It's as simple as that. There's nothing else to understand here. If you close down the coal mines, you strip this country of much to most of its wealth. Uh, there are some downsides to it, obviously. It's a picture of an underground coal mine. So I just, thought I'd just explain that while well, news cycle isn't the hottest. Um, you want to get rid of coal? <laughs> Guess what? Your job may be next. This, this has a cascading effect, and there's no question. The restaurant, you know, the restaurant hires waitresses, and they they get fired because the restaurant closes down. 
uh, train no longer pulls in the different towns, and then they suffer as a result. You can go on and on with this. Wealth means, coal means wealth. And green energy just means electricity. But this is a dirty little secret that they're not telling you. And the dirty little secret is that the greenies want to destroy wealth. That's what they want to do. These are communists in most cases. They hate they hate the idea of wealth, they hate freedom, they hate representative government. This is a picture from two girls from Appalachia. They hate freedom, they hate representative government. They want to see us I'm sure they you know, the air would be cleaned up really well. Well, not as much as uh, would have been in old days because we have clean coal technology today that can be used to prevent it from screwing up the air. If the greenies get their way, <laughs> most of your jobs are going to go away. These poor people who try to eke out a living in Appalachia, places like that, they're going to be forced to move to the cities and they'll be enslaved in a welfare system in the cities, no doubt. Better to be free and have not so much but or than to uh, be packed into the cities and have not so much. So there you go. You want green energy? Get ready to lose your job. And get ready to see almost no wealth. Because coal and oil are wealth. Whether you like it or not, wealth comes from the ground. Just sorry to put that out there. That's a dirty little secret. The greenies want to destroy wealth. Because that's what they are. They're communists, and if they can't redistribute it all, they'll destroy it. I'm Artifacts of Mars. I approve of this message.